Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is very much serious and this will be completely based on this question and this is the second video of mine on this question and in this video I will try to show you that why this question is I mean you should watch the video okay before I tell why the question is I mean completely bonus this question is completely wrong I have figured out already okay so I posted a video on this yesterday and upon further research it became clear vivid to me that this question makes no sense at all that the statement that the loop turns about the line PQ by an angle theta so this makes sense but the options do not make sense anymore okay so we can no longer tell that A is correct option okay because when I solved theta was coming out to be a variable quantity right it was doing some sort of uh, what you say oscillation I will show you how that theta is uh, time dependent and so what theta do they ask they ask theta at equilibrium theta at uh, your uh, maximum theta so there are many possibilities of solving this question okay so I mean the question is wrong at least the options are the question is not wrong but if you look at the options no option is correct from my side at least if they would have mentioned that th by an angle theta at is at the stable equilibrium or only at the equilibrium then uh, the A option would have been correct but they have just um, I mean they have just told that terms about the line PQ uh, uh, by an angle theta it seems that uh, the loop turns at an angle theta and then it becomes static which is not the case it will never become static okay so let me show you how so first I want you to remember this thing uh, this uh, thing d2x dt2 the second order differentiation of uh, x with respect to time this is represented as x double dot okay so now we will need this and you know what that the net torque this is equal to i alpha and alpha is what i theta double dot okay and in this case the moment of inertia this is half mr square so we can write that net torque is half mr square because uh, moment of inertia for a ring is half mr square and this is theta double dot now this will be equal to the net torque and if you just uh, consider directions this will come out to be something like this mgr sin theta I mean uh, how this is coming out uh, the net torque you can see my last video I have uh, calculated the net torques of uh, sorry the torques due to the magnetic field and the torque due to gravity and uh, the idea of the question was when the, these two balance a theta will come out but that theta is completely unstable because the loop does not become static there okay it is oscillating something like that okay so anyway so we have that half mr square this and this is this was the torque due to gravity the net torque minus we have to uh, subtract the torque due to magnetic field which was coming out to be your this is basically mv sine pi by 2 minus theta and if you evaluate this will give us this i is the current here B naught and sine pi by 2 minus theta is cos theta yes now let me rearrange this so this will just become theta double dot is equal to this m and m will cancel here and r square this will become your uh, 2g by r sine theta divided by minus pi r square r square r square will cancel pi i b naught divided by okay there will be 2 here 2 pi i b naught and what will it be divided by it will be divided by this time na? wait a minute let me see once again yes it just an m will be here okay and this is cos theta now the thing is this is deep d2 theta by d t dt2 okay this is the second order differentiation of theta with respect to t now my question is can you solve this differential equation just can you there is i mean nowhere in the question it says that, that theta is small uh, okay let us assume for the moment that theta is small 
which gives that sin theta is almost equal to theta and cos theta almost equal to 1. In that case, let me write that when theta is small, then probably by the SHM equation you can solve it and it will come out to be your something like this. Um, let me just recall it. And I mean, if you, you can solve it by putting sin theta equal to theta and cos theta equal to 1. I am not solving this here. This will come out to be pi r square, uh, sorry, pi r ib naught divided by mg plus some constant uh, into sin of root 2g r by t. Okay. So now if this term becomes 0, so you get theta is equal to this, which is the our um, equilibrium, sorry, I, um, I am again sorry, here will be a, I mean theta is 0 is uh, at some, at t is equal to 0, so we will have a constant here, okay. So this is our solution, a and phi are constants, uh, you can calculate them by further manipulating data, but this is the solution, this is the theta for the question. Now the thing is, this theta is completely variable, okay, and this is not even the answer because nowhere it is given that theta is small. So, uh, the solution to this, what theta will be is the solution to this differential equation which I even don't know because uh, I haven't learned this differential equation in my first year. I can solve uh, with my approximations of sin theta is equal to theta, but nowhere I again tell you that nowhere it is given that theta is small, okay. So, if theta is small, this had been the answer, theta is equal to this, but now the catch is, I mean, nowhere in the question it says that at equilibrium theta is this, but I mean, someone can take the maximum theta, which was the energy conservation, I will show you right here. Okay, so this was at equilibrium, I had uh, uh, equal, uh, I had um, the magnetic torque equal to the gravity torque. And so this, this had given me a theta like this, but the thing is that this is equilibrium con this equilibrium condition is nowhere mentioned in the question. And if you another method is energy method. If you calculate by this method, so this will give you tan theta by two. And this is note that this is the maximum theta up to which it will rise. And after this, the rod the loop will fall again. And in it in this way, it will conduct some oscillatory motion and nowhere it will be st static, okay, so the theta is always a variable, it will never be, I mean there is no damping, right, we, as no air resistance, nothing is given, so no source of damping, if you uh, consider even damping, then this will become too much complicated for you, okay, so and there is no damping, so you cannot just assume that, so I mean this question is that does not make any sense, because theta Theta is just the solution to this this differential equation right here. Okay, so this is the solution to theta. Solution to the this this differential equation is the solution to our theta. Okay, so now you cannot solve it. Okay, so someone might have solved by small angle approximation, and then probably someone got that theta is variable, so he didn't pick the answer. And also someone might have solved by the energy method by which he would have calculated the maximum theta and that was not an option. So there are maybe very cases and someone might have worked hard to, uh, I mean, in the with the equilibrium case and got the answer in one line. Okay, so, but that was just his intuition. The, the equilibrium condi condition was nowhere mentioned in the question. So, I mean, I repeat once again, this question is pointless and the, the PQ, let me read the question statement once again. The loop turns about the line PQ by an angle theta given by. And all of this option give that theta is a constant, which is not the case. So, I mean, that's pretty much it. All of the, all of the answers are wrong. I mean, all of the options. Theta will be a, I mean, you can calculate theta, but theta is not a uh, constant quantity. So, deep down this question is completely wrong. Someone, I mean, they might not give it bonus because uh, someone they might have thought of equilibrium condition, but that's just wrong. That does make, not make any sense. Okay, so that's my view.
I hope you understood this if you uh, were still now and anyway that was the whole point of the video and I hope you understood better than the last video the last video it may, may have been a little bit clumsy for you why it should have been a bonus but now I am I believe very strongly that it would be a bonus okay so I mean you can kindly spread this video with your teachers I mean with your physics teachers or any professors if, if you know them and uh, I mean forward my logic okay so I anyway think it can be bonus my it should be I'm sorry but I don't know what is going to happen but you should challenge this question to be honest I am not confident if they will make some change or not but logically this question is completely wrong and it should be bonus